Hey coaches, my name is Coach Wesby and welcome to the Fieldhouse, the place where coaches can come together, collaborate, teach, and learn from other coaches who love the game of football. Please like, subscribe, and comment below to help grow this channel and also give us an idea of what content you would like to see moving forward. So let's get started. Today, guys, we're going to talk about the belly series. Um, in particular, the weak side belly. And what, what I mean when I talk about the weak side belly series, I'm talking belly, belly weak, belly sweep, and belly pass. Those are the three plays that we are going to focus on today. Um, we're also going, I'm going to show you the three ways we block belly um, here in this first segment before we get into the film. The first thing we need to do, like always, is start with the offensive line. Because if we can't block them at the point of attack with the offensive line, we're not going to be able to block anybody. We're not going to be able to run any play. So belly weak which would be this would be our left left side belly play right here starting with the tight end we're going to start back side back side to front side back side tight end we, i call it a scoop we are scooping and he is protecting c gap back side c gap it's coming here, making sure the end doesn't flow underneath. Then he go, scoops to backer if the end doesn't cross his face. Backside tackle, scoops B gap. He's got a tackle right here, a defensive tackle right here. He takes him. He's trying to reach him on the backside. Um, you know, that's pretty difficult, especially with an inside guy, so we're going to give him help. So tight end, scooping C-gap, tackle, scooping B-gap. In guard, his rule is to scoop A-gap, but if there's not an immediate threat here, he's going to chip on this tackle and help, help our offensive tackle out, his buddy out. He's going to chip there. But then he is going to scoop to backer at the linebacker. All right. Centers rules. And I'm a wing T guy. Love it. And this is why is because we always have rules to our blocks. We are not a man blocking scheme. We're not really a zone blocking scheme. We are a rule based blocking team. And our rules for center is gap on away. So gap, somebody in the gap, on, on, then away. Somebody's in the gap, so the center. He's blocking here. Guard, gap on away. That's his, that's his rule, gap on away. So gap on away. Inside gap, there you go. Tackle, guard, or center, guard. Y'all got a, you got a double team. All right, you got a double team. All right, so we're double teaming and we are headed. We want to, some people say, well, double team to the linebacker and this backside linebacker is what they're talking about. I want to block, I want to double team through the linebacker. Meaning, I want a double team, and I don't want to come off this double team until this guy's got to run over the hump. We're making sure we block this guy instead of instead of worrying this guard worrying about getting to the linebacker because this guy, if he makes a play, it's for three, two, maybe three yards, which is fine with us. Two, maybe three yards. It's not perfect, but He's making the play, that's what he's making it for. He's not making it for losses. This tackle makes makes plays for losses, and that, that kills our offense. Again, tackle, gap on away. 
He blocks out. And guys, it's it's simple. Sometimes I just tell our tackle, if we get this look and this end is playing outside, it's like take what you can give them. Take what you can get. Take what you can get. That which means our normal splits two two feet. If you can go go three feet, he stays on your outside shoulder. Take a little more. If he goes four feet, take a little more. As soon as he stops following you out there, then you stop. But I've seen it, and I when I was in high school, I did it where the end would follow you out for a full yard and there'd be a yard between you and the guard and a big lane to run through on belly. Yeah, they knew who, where the play was going, but they didn't have anybody to go there. So, I mean, it was an easy play. So that's how the line is, is blocking. We're scooping backside, scooping backside, we're gap on away front side. The wing back. What we usually do with the wing and our base offense is we send him in motion, jet motion. We send him in jet motion. I know a lot of purists go rocket motion because that's what it says with Toby Raymond's book. We go jet motion because it sets up some stuff that we do um, like our, our jet or our belly pass, and I'll show you in a minute, in a few minutes. Um, so we jet motion. We can also say no motion and leave him right there, and then he does something different after the snap um, to carry out a fake and to hold a defender, uh, that outside linebacker. This does two things. One, sets up our, our belly pass. Two, it holds this outside lip player from coming in deep, coming in here and getting getting his hands on the, on the ball carrier. If this guy in your belly is making tackles, if he's making tackles against your belly, you have to have something that fights that. We have two things, and we'll get into that later. We have belly pass, and then we'll have a belly sweep off of our no motion that will hold that linebacker. And if it doesn't, we'll just run that play, and it'll be a big game for us. Our X stock blocks out here, or we may, depending on who this guy is, if he's not a great blocker, we'll have him go ahead and run their belly pass route, which is a, a post. But really, he's going to stock block. Dive back. This is where the linemen or the running backs are going to have to read where the linemen go um, or read the defense. Because right here, I tell him, look for the bubble. Look for the empty spot. When we call bubble, we call the empty spot where the lineman's not. Right now, it's in B-gap. So he's going to go fly to B-gap, pull back. We're going to cross over, hop, and plant, and wait for the quarterback to get, to get us the ball. So the fullback is going to crossover, hop, and plant, waiting for the ball from the quarterback. This is not a fast play. Weak side belly is a draw. Think draw when you think weak side belly. We are letting the play develop in front of us, and then we are taking what the defense has given us. Quarterback. You are reversing out, you're reversing out, and then you're doing a second reverse out. So what we call a 180-180. And then you're handing 
to the fullback right here. So you're reversing out and you're handing to the fullback right there. And then once you hand to the fullback, you go up here and you set up for your belly pass. Fullback, he comes right there and he takes it. He takes the path that the dive back takes. And the dive back is we want him to block the linebacker inside out to give the fullback a shot to either go inside or out. Make the fullback's gonna make the dive back right. So that is belly for against a 4-4 front. The second look we're going to get is a three-man look or a 50 set. And it doesn't really matter whether we get a four or three to this back side or this front side because we're going to block it the same. A lot of people love crossing a three technique. I do not. I think it's much easier and a much better play to, to just slide the hole over a little bit. If we get a three technique and we don't even have to call it, we're gonna call it the same, same thing but what our back is doing is finding finding the hole. And that, that gap is going to be the A gap right here. So we are scooping backside, just like we did, did before. Now there's an end there. So this tight end and this tackle is now the chipper. So this tackle is going to help with the end right there. But he's scooping play side or he's scooping B gap and now on the way to scooping A gap the guard he has a threat here and that nose guard so he's going to help the center and we're going to we're going to double team the tackle because the center has gap on away he has somebody on him so the center and the guard are going to take this, this nose guard and push him back into the backside linebacker, make him run the hump. This guard tackle, whether it's a three or whether it's a four, it's four, it's really easy, it's really easy. We're going to yell, we're going to call Fan It or, or Fred or something along that nature. And we are going to fan this, this thing. All right. We are, so the guard, going to block here, block out, block out. All right. Now the hole is going to be the A gap. The dive back, we practice this a hundred times in practice. He knows if he sees a three technique or a four right here, it's going A gap. So the dive back is coming here, coming in, and now he's blocking the linebacker. Full back, same steps. It's now, but now we're doing an angle in, in here that better fits us. And honestly, with the fan out, he doesn't have to do that big of an angle because these guys get, get movement on here and they're pretty good. They're, they're, they're good to go. That hole's pretty wide and we're, it, it works out well for us. All right, quarterback still does his own thing right here. Sets up, wing back, send him in motion, jet motion. Then we got a better athlete right here. They're worried about our pass. So we're going to go post wheel. We're going to go post here with the X. And that's against our, an odd front, belly against the odd front. Um, the last one we're going to look at. Last one we're going to look at 
is belly against two twos or a guy head up the guard. These are the three kind of looks that we see on a regular basis. Um, there, people kind of bastardize their defense a little bit against against our wing T, but these are the three basic looks that we see. Um, and we use rules. That's why rules are are great because all our rules stay the same no matter what defense the other team is in. The head up technique since we don't have a down block or an angle block with the guard we are going to call a cross block we're gonna call a cross block and this is the only time we call it um and even then sometimes i have gone center and guard right here to double team, team this tackle. But as of now, we, we have started cross blocking this and it works out well for us, all right, against a head up guard team. So here we go, we got Scoop right here. He, he's got to deal with this end. Tackle, Scoop B gap, guard, help him, chip. Chip with the tackle, going to backer, center. Now he's coming here because he's coming here just in case, just in case this guy goes to A-gap and we'll still have a little bit of a double team here. If he slants A-gap, the center's still there. He's going to pick him up with the cro cross and tackle. But right now we're we're assuming that he's either slanting outside or being a true two gap player. He's going to linebacker, tackle, blocking down. He goes first, guard goes off his butt. We want him tight. We don't want him to pat the tackle on the butt as he's going by, and he is basically kicking out this defensive end right here. Dive back, sees a two technique. He knows it's C gap right here and goes for this linebacker. Quarterback, and let me put him in the right position here. He comes here and he does the same thing as he does. It, all the other looks right there. Boom. Pull back. Crossover, hop, plant. Boom. And that's a little outside, but you know what I'm talking about going inside. Uh, he's still in motion, coming across. Right, there you go. Now, actually, I'm going to show you what he does when we call no motion. Because no motion, all he's doing is setting up belly sweep, and we're coming right around here. A little stock block here, and there you go. Now you have the three ways we, we have blocked belly and ran belly against the three defenses we normally see. So now we're going to look at some film. Um, while we're looking at some film, I'm going to tell you we don't, we aren't perfect, but we do, do do a lot of things well. I think belly is one of the plays we run pretty well. Um, this one right here, we actually have a, we're actually, it is Billy. So, um, what? Do a pretty good job here. The double team's not great, but it gets the job done. 
kick out the end and there we go nice little run see we don't we don't get that other inside backer and but it doesn't matter all right we got no motion this is one of the be better teams in our state southview one of the better teams in our state there now we have a three-man front so we're going to fan this our fullback does a good job of taking on this linebacker and guys as long as we just get in the way we're good we're good get in the way make them stop make let our running back use his vision we're good as you can see here we don't get a lot of movement here but we get just enough to let him uh find the hole and go this is something we also see sometimes because people are worried about our jet like our wing back every time our wing back is going to be our fastest guy he's going to be our fastest guy because we run jet a lot we like jet we like buck we do do all those things but our fastest guy is going to be that wing back so this guy especially in this kind of look they're they're afraid of our speed so he's not going to bite in very often so we don't have to block them we have basically a one right here and then the guys are tight inside the tackle so that tackle is going to just have to take them too so we get everybody blocked there's basically a double team with the guard all right you see another look at it They've widened out just a little bit right there, but that's not a bad job by us. And like I said, Billy is a three, four, five yard at a time play. It's not gonna be a, a, a touchdown play every time, but it's one that'll get you down the ball field in 10, 12 plays. All right, this is from my time at BY. Um, we got funky look on defense, like I told you. We get some funky looks, all right, trying to stop our plays. We get a great block. We get a nose guard and then a guy that is in a shade, it looks like. And we're just going to take him down. Our guard does a great job. Our center and backside guard do a heck of a job on this nose, and then we we just go to town, make a good play. All right. Now, this is why we go jet motion while we go jet motion look at this outside linebacker right here and let me move my face out the way look look at this outside guy right here as soon as we go in motion he's flying oh the safety as soon as we go in motion he is flying trying to step up everybody's outside worried about our our jet sweep so we basically end up having two double teams and the guy is inside the tackle, but there's nobody outside the tackle. So the guard and the tackle just double team this guy right here. Again, guy lines up. Our tackle's just doing his rules right here. Guys inside, there's a one technique and a guy inside the tackle at a four eye or a three on the, on the play side. So we're just playing our rules and the guard just takes him down. And like I said, 
it's not hard guys just follow the rules our guard and our tackle does a good job of that right there and we make a big play when people give us funky alignments we we try to make them pay for it all right this best team second best team in the state in our, our level three they made it to the 3a state championship game they got three d1 kids one on each level of the defense right there and about five or six college players um they're pretty daggone good and we can run belly against them now we weren't I'm not gonna lie to you. We we got our butts kicked here, but we we did we were able to move the ball a little bit on them, and Belly was one of our plays. We didn't even block it right here. Our tackle, I don't know what he was doing because obviously the uh, guard thought we were fanning. He decides we're gonna go here, but the guard front side guard makes a good audible and makes good play it's, it's nice to have smart kids up front it's also nice to have dive backs or or lead blockers in the backfield that, that knock people on their butt too all right, yet again, boom here. What I want you to look at here, look at this outside linebacker on the play side. That jet motion freezes him, he's gone. Boom. And it even sets up this pancake for this dive back. Look at this safety right here. Safety's flying with, with the guy, boom. It's it's easy. Again, we get a little bit of a funky look. All right. Another thing, we're always try we're always wary of this outside linebacker. We get with no motion here, but because we are faking belly sweep look at his eyes this linebacker's eyes with number one coming around he completely misses our running back getting the ball and that that scores a touchdown for us because he's worried about that running back that one number one coming around <clears throat> Another BY clip. Guys, and like I said, we're not we're not always very good and we don't always do what we're supposed to do. But I mean we I got the same kids you're working with. So I know, I know y'all feel me a little bit. 77 right here, he's, he's not really doing much. He's just, but everybody else is doing what they're supposed to do. It'll make a good play over here. Luckily he's backside and we fan right there. Front side, we're fanning. We're making a good play here. It's always nice to have have a dude in the backfield too. If you are thinking you're going to be wing T, my best advice for you is to go look at your roster. Your best running back needs to be your fullback. Needs to be your fullback. Most explosive guy needs to be your fullback. Doesn't have to be the fastest guy, but he does need, need to be your best, best running back. 
because that will change the game. Also, last belly we're going to look at, and then we'll get into some of the counters we have off of it. Guys, formations, especially early in the year, be creative because this stuff right here is dumb. All right, and I, I, I will do some dumb stuff just to get the defense to do stupid stuff as well. All right, we have two guys over here. This guy is going to put his hand on the ground. He's a tight end. All right, first year kid ever playing football. So we tell him to come out, we're uh, tight end. And he puts his hand on the ground. This guy's on the line. So we got two guys on the line and this guy over here. We ain't doing anything over here, guys. We're not. All right. He, this guy's not even eligible. But that brings these two and this guy right here, this safety. And then I don't know what they have over here, why they're over here. We got nobody over here. But one, two, three, four, five. They have a five-man box against our wing T. We're going to run ISO. And looks what, look what happens. Get them out of position. Get the defense uncomfortable out of position. This is what happens. And, I mean, that safety over here can get to the fullback making the touchdown. That's great. That, that is fantastic. And I mean, if you're going to do that early, because once they get film on it, it's a different story. But it also, you put it out there early. Now they have to have practice time to practice against the tomfoolery that you're, you're putting on the field. All right. So that, that's also a, a key to being successful, especially when you, you don't have the same talent as everybody else does. All right, showed you belly. Now we're going to get into belly sweep. Told you this outside linebacker. Their outside linebacker has snuck in. They're putting everybody in the box. We, they're trying to stop our fullback because he's gashed them. In this game, he's probably got 250 yards, I believe. This is late in the game. We're, and they move this linebacker all the way in. So what do we do? We do belly sweep. Fake. There we go. Coming out. All right. I'm going to show you exactly what they're supposed to be doing. Everybody does exactly the same thing as on belly. But this tackle, he is reaching. He's reaching. Now, 10 here, our dive back, he doesn't do it right on this play, but he's supposed to take one step out or one step up like he's going into the hole and then coming out and taking on this outside linebacker right here. Full back does his belly fake. Quarterback puts the ball in his stomach, and I would like him to ride it out a little bit longer than he does and then gives to the wing back. But everybody else stays the same. And poor little we receiver here is going to try to make a block, and he gets in his way. Like I said, that's why I love wing T, because he can just get in his way. What Things can happen. Thing, good things can happen. Watch, see, the fullback doesn't, the die back doesn't do what he's supposed to, but it doesn't matter because I'll stop it at this point. This point, no matter what he does, this guy ain't catching this guy. All right. 
it's our it's already done deal. We we've already got seven yards just at this point because they're sucked in. Everybody's looking belly. These guys aren't flying up. Seven yards at least right here. Big 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 play. All right, we'll see. This is better ran. Not as successful, but better ran because this outside linebacker sees it coming. This outside linebacker, he, this is later in the year, he sees it coming. But our, our defensive or our running back does what he's supposed to, and he makes a good block. All right, this last one here, man, we don't really do any kind of fake with this guy right here. He's he's gone. He's out, out of his way gone. That's a sophomore there. Doesn't really know what he's doing. He's come in because of an injury. Heck of a play. It turned out to be a heck of a player um, his junior and senior year. But he was just a sophomore playing on varsity. But he, he got after it. He helped. But there was no fake there. But we just we just got just enough to get out there and let everybody and get to the end zone. All right. So now we have gone over belly sweep, belly and belly sweep. Now we're gonna go through our belly pass. It's a real simple pass where Tight end's going out on a route, but we're not looking at the tight end. It's a seven-man protection. So front side, you're just blocking belly. Your belly rules. Your, your guard and center blocking belly rules. And you got help with the dive back and the fullback coming in and blocking, belly, blocking pass blocking, who have all the stuff that's coming through. Center. Step to A gap, front side A gap, and then you have backside A gap as you're in pass protection. We're swinging gate backside. So backside tackle, you have C gap, and we're making a cup. All right, half a cup protection. All right, guard, you got B gap, backside B gap protection. And then we're running the post wheel on the front side and we're reading this corner. This corner goes with the post. You hit the wheel. You get he corner stays on the wheel, you hit the post. Real, real simple read. Well, it's good reads. Our kids usually throw to the wheel almost no matter what. We're trying to get better at throwing to the post because right now you'll see on these films, the post is going to be wide open because uh, people aren't, aren't uh, honoring it because we haven't thrown to it yet, but they will. That, that's an emphasis in the off season. But look here. Would have liked a better fake here, better throw. But as you can see, he goes, this is first game of the year. Corner goes with with the with the post. Easy throw, even though it was a lot, if he throws it sooner, he might can do more with it. All right, we'll get a better one right here. Like I said. Sometimes, a lot of times, you're going to get this corner in no man's land. This corner, and this is the last game of the season, so they know it's coming. They've seen us run this all the time. They got nobody in the middle of the field. I'm going to be honest. I, I've told our quarterback, we need to have thrown this post right here. But I'm not mad at them because we score a touchdown. All right. And he's wide open anyway. This corner kind of doesn't do anything. But I said, if nobody's in the middle of the field, you better throw the post because 
that's going to be the main one open if everybody does what they're supposed to do. All right. Here we got here. Again, put this on film because on this video because it's a it's a great throw, great play. Our kid, like I said, that's our fastest guy. We're we're gonna throw to him. But look at the post here. Look at the post. Boom, boom. He's still running. If he hits the post, he's still running. But like I said, he makes makes a good throw. I'm okay with that. This is perfect idea. Now, I know the post is open right now too, but he 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 cheated on his route a little bit. But this is exactly what we want. They put their outside linebacker on our fastest kid. That's automatic. Throw to him and let him run. And if it was a better throw, like I said, we're wing T for a reason. If it was a better throw, we would it would have been a touchdown or a bigger play. But he got it out there. He did what we asked him to do. And All right, I think that's the last, that was the last play. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope you got a lot out of it. Please like, subscribe, and comment down at the, at the bottom. And we'll see you next time at the Fieldhouse. Y'all be safe. Bye.